But in Hong Kong, they take great pride in being uh, outdoors on grass. And they race most of the year, except a short off season in the summer where they're doing grass um, upholstery. They having, I believe they have two different types of grass um, intermingled and planted and a huge track team um, doing development scientific grass production to make sure the track is absolutely perfect for racing conditions. Wow. Gosh, amazing. You don't think of all that um, money and, and technology, do you, going into uh... Uh, that side of horse racing, you, you, you hear of genetics uh, being a huge yeah. thing and, and food being a good thing and, and the training they do with the horses, but never really thought of the, uh, the types of grass being a, a big thing. I think when you've got a huge gambling public who need confidence in order to take part and enjoy their sport, you've got obviously the jockeys and the horses uh, racing, but you've also got the conditions. And in the UK, I think we struggle with the weather to maintain um, uniform conditions throughout the year mm. and across different the, the same tracks and things like that. Whereas in Hong Kong, you've got, um, to some extent, more manageable weather. You've got the ability to irrigate. You do have really, really heavy um, rains, typhoons, etc. But I think it's potentially easier to manage those conditions and make sure that the going is as equal and fair as possible. They have very tight racing in Hong Kong, um, which makes it really exciting from a you know handicapping p- perspective. 